Hi, welcome to Now What with Britt and Sean. I'm Britt. On our channel for grades K to A, we learn new things and have some fun. Woo! Usually Sean's here with me, but I'm not sure where he went. Hey, Sean, where are you? I'm skydiving. Wait, did you pack a parachute? Uh-oh. I totally forgot that I needed a parachute. Parachutes are the most important equipment when skydiving. They're also used in emergency situations, like if you need to jump out of an airplane or a helicopter quickly. Well, how exactly do parachutes work? Parachutes are devices that are shaped like an umbrella and allow people or things to float safely to the ground from a great height, like from an airplane. When a skydiver jumps out of an airplane, gravity pulls them down towards the ground. The speed at which the skydiver falls accelerates or gets faster until they reach the maximum speed of their fall, called terminal velocity. Once the skydiver gets close enough to the ground, between 2,500 and 5,000 feet, they'll need to deploy their parachute in order to slow down. As the parachute expands, it catches air, and the force of the air pushing up against the parachute creates drag from air resistance. The air resistance, which pushes up, creates a force opposite to the force of gravity, which pulls down. These push and pull forces allow the person to float slowly down to the ground. The bigger the parachute, the more air it can catch, which means the greater the air resistance and the slower you'll fall. Wow, parachutes are awesome. So if I wanted to try skydiving again, essentially I would just need a giant umbrella. Not exactly! Oh! I'm confused. How are they different? Parachutes are made of a thin material, usually nylon, which covers a large space when opened. The parachute also has lines, the strings, and risers, the loops connecting the lines to the parachute. For a parachute to work properly, it must be packed correctly. Places that use parachutes require them to be packed by certified professionals, called riggers. Skydivers also carry main parachutes, backup parachutes, and devices that can trigger the activation of the backup parachute if the main parachute doesn't open up by a certain point of a jump. That seems really complicated. I guess I won't be going skydiving today. However, I do have an idea for how we can still use a parachute. Really? How? I'll show you. For this activity, you're going to need a pair of scissors, permanent marker, a ruler, some clear tape, some kind of string or thread, a plastic bag, I'm using a garbage bin liner, and some kind of toy or weight that you're going to be attaching to the end of your parachute. So the first thing we're going to do is we're going to take our plastic bag or our garbage bin liner and we are going to cut the two ends off it. So the end that is sealed at the bottom and then also where the handle is. You want to cut the handle off. Okay, now that we've cut the handles off, what we're going to do is we are going to open up the bag. And if you notice, the bag is still sealed on two sides. It's sealed over here on this side and it's also sealed over here on this side. So what we want to do is we want to open up the bag so that way we have one large piece of plastic. So I find the best way to do this is instead of trying to cut along this edge here because it's already folded down, there are lots of lines in the actual bag. So I'm just going to open up the bag so I can fit my scissors in and I'm gonna cut along the line that is already pre-made for me. Once we have this giant piece of plastic, which is a large rectangle, we are now going to make a square. So we're going to take the corner on the far left and we're going to pull it down towards the bottom. So we're taking the top corner and we're pulling it down towards the bottom. And what we want to do is we want to make sure that at the bottom the plastic is lined up. So what's going to happen is you're going to see this triangle here and I'm going to cut off the excess plastic right here. Okay, 
Now, if you notice, we have a actual large square, but it's already been folded over once. So we're gonna keep that fold. And we're actually folding the plastic four times in total. So this counts as one fold. Here is the second fold. So we're taking the corner, the far corner here, and we're pulling it over to the other corner. So that was number two. Here's number three. We're gonna take the corner again from the triangle, and we're going to pull it over. So that's number three. Now, we're not going end to end this way. What we're gonna do is we're actually going to fold inwards like this. So it kind of almost looks like an ice cream cone, or maybe even kind of like a bouquet of flowers. So that was number four. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna take our scissors, and we're going to cut kind of like in a semicircle, okay? Just around, so that way, well, you'll see in a second what kind of shape we actually have. So we wanna make sure that we get all the plastic. So we're not just cutting the top part, we're cut cutting a bit of the bottom part too, just so that way everything is going to be even. So in the end, you're going to have a shape that kind of looks like that. And look what happens when we open it up. We actually have a circle with a bunch of little divots in it. Okay, so the next step is, the next step is we are going to draw a cross through our parachute. And the reason why we're doing that is this is gonna help us when we're trying to place our string because we have to place eight pieces of string and we wanna try and even them out. So if we put a cross through our parachute, we're actually gonna get an idea of where we should put our string. So the first thing I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take the permanent marker and I'm going to put a dot in the middle. So I know that is kind of like my pivot point. And I'm going to use the ruler and I'm gonna go from the top down to the center. This is a good way to make sure that our lines are straight. Okay, we have a cross. Now, we could draw some more lines, diagonal lines, through if we wanted to, um, but you don't have to. You can kind of see where the divots are in between. So we have like four quadrants here, and so we're gonna put, we're gonna put our string at the ends, but we're gonna leave a little bit of space, but we're gonna put an X here. So X here, right by the divot where we started our line. That's gonna be one string. We're gonna put another string here, down here. We're going to put another string here. So we're, right now, we're just putting X's at the ends of our cross. And like I said, we're going to be doing eight. We have four right now. So in between, if you notice, in between the two X's, there is a middle point, and the middle point is right here where the divot is. So we're going to put an X right here, and that's where another string will go. And then over here in this quadrant, we'll notice that there's a little divot here, and that is right in the middle, so we are going to put an X right by the divot there, your last X. So if you notice, we have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. We have eight X's and that's where we're going to attach our string. So we need eight pieces of string and we're gonna be placing them or taping them where the X is. But the first thing we need to do is we need to actually measure out our string. So what you're gonna do is you're going to take your string and you're gonna put it from one end of the parachute and we're gonna go right across. So essentially where one X is, right here where the divot is, all the way across to the other X. All right, so we're going through your parachute, which is actually the diameter of the parachute. So we're gonna go right, right from the left to the right, and that's gonna be the length of the string. So we're gonna cut right there. Once we have this string, all we have to do now is we just have to measure another piece of string, well, seven other pieces of string to that string. So we're just going to measure out our strings and cut seven more pieces. So now that we have eight pieces of string, we are going to take each piece of string and we're going to tape it to the X's that we have placed on our parachute. So 
So now that we have attached all of our pieces of string to our parachute, we are going to collect each piece of string and kind of bring them all into the middle. So that way they're all kind of together. Okay, so we have them all together and we are going to make a knot so that way they stick together. And this is going to be the end of our rope, which we will attach. We will attach to our toy. So now we're gonna take our toy and what I'm gonna do is, I'm going to, you can use tape if you want to. We have a bird here, which is kind of silly. Usually a bird doesn't need a parachute because they can fly and they can land pretty good, but this bird is having difficulty flying, so I guess he needs a parachute. Now, if you didn't have some kind of hook like this or some kind of loop, um, that's okay. You can always just, you can tie around the toy's waist. You could also tape it if you'd like to. But luckily I had like a little loop here so I can just stick my string through there. Okay, and now it's tied. So now we have our parachute and we have our parachute or our skydiver, which is our little yellow bird. And so what we need to do next is, we need to pack our parachute. So all you're gonna do is you're gonna fold over the parachute Fold it in half, and then we're gonna fold it over again. Remember how many times we folded it the first time? We folded it four times. So that was one, two, three, and four. So now you should have, once again, you should have your ice cream cone. This ice cream cone, you're gonna fold it in half once, and you're going to wrap the string around just like so. And that's all you need to do. So you have your ice cream cone, fold in half, wrap your string, and this guy is ready to go. All we're gonna do is we're gonna go outside and we will throw it into the air. And it should open and he should land safely. That was fun. I made my own parachute too. Cool, let's go test them. Great idea. Okay, we're outside. Let's go test our parachute. My turn now. Make sure that you're not throwing them too close to the trees or the power lines. Now what? You can experiment with different sized parachutes and different objects to see how quickly or slowly they fall to the ground. If you had fun with us today, remember to like the video and subscribe to our channel so we can have more fun together. See you next time!